in stopping this guy from having maybe too much fun. Yeah. Poor yeah, Tabitha. I, she had to give him a bath soon after. I I'm unfortunately sure. know exactly what Tabitha's going through. We were just talking, you know, you have a fairly dark colored dog. I have a blonde, yeah. you know, yellow lab. So, of course, he finds every mud puddle on the face of the earth. And, and loves it. Oh, of course. It's yeah. the best thing to do. And then jump in the car and run around. And, and then hop into the bed right when you open up the door, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Anything but the bathtub is yeah. pretty much where he lands. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. On the weather scene, we're going to have some more of those slushy conditions, though, over the next few. Check this out. Cascade right now. Santa's workshop. Haven't seen that shot in a while, but kind of a nice one to bring back the Christmas feeling there. As for Colorado Springs right now, taking you out to Motor City. That's our Kia signature camera there, about 31 degrees. As you notice, just wet roadways. We're not looking at any ice right now, and I don't suspect we're going to see much tonight either. As for our sky scan, check it out. Biggest part of the system well off to our east right now. We do have a few light flurries that are trying to stroll through the area right now. That's the next system that's going to travel right down I-25 tonight. Could give us light accumulation, especially into grassy areas, not so much on the roadways because everything is looking pretty warm for us right now. Still well above freezing. We will drop down below freezing, but right now we're looking good. Here's that band of snow we were just talking about. It's going to cruise right down I-25, of course, leaving much of El Paso and Pueblo counties dry. That's usually how it works. We get that kind of donut hole effect. And then we'll see it kind of pick up a little bit of strength around Walsenburg, Trinidad, moving over to Springfield. As the night progresses throughout Sunday, we're looking relatively dry about 10 a.m. tomorrow. It's going to be a nice day, plenty of sunshine to go around. So those daytime highs are going to rise up nicely tomorrow. And those sunny skies and clear skies, I should say, are going to last much of Sunday. Even into Monday, we'll start to see a few more clouds break in Monday as the next system starts to knock at our doorstep. That's not really going to impact southeastern Colorado until Wednesday. But you notice we start to see the effects of that moving in on Monday. As for the snow accumulation, here's how I'm expecting things to play out tonight. The heaviest little batch is going to be pretty much just south of Denver, right through the Palmer Divide area. We're looking at about a half an inch to an inch or so. An inch is even pushing it. We're going to stay relatively dry tonight. And the southern regions of the state, just about a half an inch. So again, rather calm this evening. As for your highs tomorrow, pretty much into the 30s across the board. Looking nice into eastern Colorado, pushing the 40s. And the next seven days look like this. 34 degrees into the springs. Again, a few light lingering flurries. About 2 a.m. is when we're expecting those to move through. Dry Monday and Tuesday. The next little batch of rain and snow moves through on Wednesday. That's going to clear out rather quickly, kind of a one day only sale there. Same story into Pueblo, climbing up to 61 on Tuesday, rain snow mix on Wednesday, and then the temperatures jump right back up to the 52, and then a nice 10, about 11 degree jump there in a Friday at 63 degrees. So next weekend right now is looking rather nice for us. Into Canyon City, same story there. A few early morning flurries, not going to last long though. By Sunday morning, about nine or so, we should be rather clear. Sunshine Monday and Tuesday. Again, little rain snow mix on Wednesday, dropping those temperatures down about oh, 12, 13, 14 degrees on average into Teller County. We're looking at 28 degrees to put a wrap to the weekend. Few morning flurries, 40s to follow there. Again, little dip in the temperatures by Wednesday, but right back up to the 40s and 50s. That kind of seems to be the trend this year in Colorado weather is get that little cold patch, but then it warms right back up. So car washes are staying busy. This yeah, year. with that roller coaster too. A lot of times we're talking about the flu or maybe the colds. Yes, you know, colds this time of year, but something. Much, much worse spreading here yeah. in the country so far. It's